What's up, Facebookers? Um, today I'm going to talk about negative energy. Uh, <coughs> I had people ask me sometimes, and I've made some videos like this before, and they've asked me, how do you stay so calm and stuff like that? Especially when we had that video that went viral. A lot, a lot of us know um, Zuzak from the viral video of the lady that was talking to us about being white and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Um, you know, it wasn't about being mature. The only reason that we didn't lash back at that lady, I feel like, that I personally feel like, is that me and those guys are tired of fighting. That's all. We're just tired of fighting. Um, me and those guys have been fighting each other since day one. But my point is like, part of being humble is not necessarily just being humble, it's just being exhausted, I feel like. Like, I don't have time, like, I have so much going on. I have so much that I'm battling with myself, anxiety. I get depression. I get, I get every feeling, emotion that anybody gets. I have, I have the, the scared, the emotion of failure. You know, I want to be successful. Am I good enough? I battle all these emotions inside. I don't have time to deal with other outside negative energy. So I choose to ignore it and deal with it accordingly, right? Because I've learned from one thing, man, is being treating negative with negative is not like math, okay? It doesn't turn into a positive, man. It keeps going. It just keeps going. And I've learned that if you stay the positive person, the negative person will eventually just get tired of being negative because he can't do anything to hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, everybody sees like, all right, man, it's who's that? You're doing these things, man. You got all these good vibes. Like, understand something. I, I, I have good vibes that I, that I portray to y'all because that's just the way I've learned to deal with things and how I should project things, right? Like, I don't want to project negative energy out there. I don't want to project violence. I don't want to project, you know, ignorance and stuff. I'm human. I make mistakes. But in return, like I said, it's just that I'm dealing with a lot of emotional stuff myself and to, to, to put that on my plate and to add extra, you know, to, to argue with someone over a disagreement or to give out, you know, call somebody out on something because I don't agree with it and, and fight and bigger and, and it's just not worth my time. You know, I got, I got so much stuff I'm battling inside that I don't have the energy to do that. And, and I'm being honest, it's not necessarily that I'm mature. I just, like I said, I'm just exhausted. So that lady approached us that day and we had every right. And this is something that that situation taught me. Not even at that moment. That lady got a pass because she messed with some guys that had been fighting their entire lives. And we're just tired of fighting. But at the end of the day... I learned not something then, I learned something after the fact. I got so much support from the community, from people all over the United States for not lashing back. Well, everybody, not just me, I'm sorry, the workers, Rebecca, everybody got great support from not fighting with that lady back. And that taught me something. People respect restraint more than they respect retaliation, you know? Don't get me wrong, there are, I'm still a human being. There are things that need to be retaliated that I feel like it. But at the end of the day, that's not my first option. I've learned that retaliating is never my first option. That's why I always say like, I've learned to just grow. Like I've learned just to be better each day than to chase a million dollars or chase the success that I need. Because at the end of the day, you know, as I'm growing, as I'm becoming better, opportunities are opening up themselves, you know? And it really takes the stress off of, of trying to get there too fast, you know? Like, you never know when opportunities are gonna come, you never know what door's gonna open, but as long as you keep putting out, you know, something positive, as long as you stay positive, in a sense, you know, more doors open and crazy things happen. And I don't even know how to explain it. You can call it God. You can call it spirituality. You could call it um, whatever you want, energy. 
you can call it whatever you want. I, I don't know how to explain it, man. You know, I'm someone that lived an entire life of conflicting with myself, um, you know, battling where I belong in life, battling people that were from other neighborhoods for no reason, fighting, lad, doing crazy things to each other to prove a point to, for what, you know? And at the end of the day, when you live a life of violence and stupidity and ignorance, you kind of just grow to just get tired of it. Most, I mean, some of us do. Some of us love that crap. Not me. I know people that do. But what I'm trying to say is that that's how I'm able to restrain myself and be so calm. It's because I'm tired of fighting. And not only am I tired of fighting, I'm still fighting emotions within myself. That, that, that take a lot of energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm just like everybody else. Everybody thinks I'm doing so great. I'm doing better. But I'm not there yet. But I still, I'm scared of failure. I'm still scared of what's ahead of me. I don't know what's ahead of me. But all I know is it's better than yesterday. So that's what I always, that's how I deal with my emotion and, and my anxiety and, and depression and being scared of the next step. Is I just know that I'm better than yesterday. And that's all that matters, man. You know? And to sit here and try to tell anybody to go to war with somebody or... or or, or dish out as somebody. I'm not like that because I've learned that what restraint does for you in the long run, it makes the other person look like a dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? It makes the other person look bad. You're just trying to do good in the world. You're just trying to do good in life. When someone keeps attacking you, that person just looks like an attacker. That's it. And I'm not even saying these. There's a lot of situations I'm referring this to. But... It's not necessarily just a strategy. It's just a way of being that I've learned to be with myself, you know. Um, it's just keep, you know, keep it, just be genuine. Like, like every aspect of my life is to be genuine. And I don't have to worry about blowbacks from the past, right? People that are snakes, people that are attackers, people that are negative will, can get so far. But they will always have to worry about something biting them in the ass, you know, something they did in the past, you know, in my case, I just learned when I changed my life to continue on this path so I don't have to worry about that. Now, I know y'all probably didn't see that earlier stuff. The guy texted me telling, you know, screw West Side and, you know, bringing up all this past shit. Where's my homeboy and all this crap and just stupid crap. And, and there's some things you can't escape. Because that's something that, like I said, when you were doing something negative, it will always follow you. You know, so, you know, all I'm trying to say is that even if you are that person, even if you are that negative person, you know, try to look at it and try to change, man. Like I said, I, everybody's battling enough shit that even if I feel negative about something, I'm not going to put it out there for somebody else to feel negative about it. You understand what I'm saying? That That's just the way I am. So, yeah, I play superheroes. <laughs> so... You know, that's just a little personal, I don't know, in my feelings, testimony I want to tell everybody, man. It, is don't think, you know, just, just be cool, man. And, and and don't put out negativity, man. <laughs> that's all I got to say. You know, this world's full of it. It's easy to be negative more than it is to be positive. And a lot of us are dealing with shit on our own. And I've learned that. In order to balance out the shit that I'm dealing with, to make me feel better about the shit I'm dealing with, I have to put out something positive. That's how I've learned to get through my day. Because if I was negative, I'm already negative inside my emotional self, and I'm putting out negativity, and then I got to deal with somebody being negative back, then I'm just fighting the entire world and my emotions, and I just can't handle that, you know? I think that's why people get more depressed, and people do more drugs and people drink and people do suicide it's because all right hold on because you have to find a balance you know you have to you have to find a balance of either okay I'm, i i have negative thoughts of, of, of failure i have negative thoughts of not being good enough but in the end by you putting out just being genuine of being better and people learning from you in a sense, helps you in a way. And I can't explain that. I cannot explain that to you one bit, man. So, I just wanted to share that with you. I was just thinking about that today. 
and you take what you want from that or, or apply it to some way life that you're living, I don't know. I'm only explaining from my side in my life, you know? And uh, um, all we can do is, is, is work to be better. And honestly, you know, it really helps to help other people think that they can be better and help them be better. In return, it's like a healing process for all the screwed up shit I've done in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how else to repair the things I've done other than by just giving back. So, that's yeah, just something to think about, man. I don't, I don't, everybody's story is different. But, uh, y'all have a good night, man. And I hope somehow this maybe helps you or makes you think about something before you say or do something next. So, have a good night.